Okay, so now that we know how to use the free transform tool, we're going to explore the different aspects of our warping. So if I go to this file right here and I go to edit free transform and I select the warp tool by either going to right mouse button warp or I can go control and then click inside of the warp and go to warp or again I can go to this icon right here as soon as I select the warp you will notice that my options right up here have changed on the left hand side this is the icon for our pivot point okay right now the pivot point is right in the middle of our image but I can make my pivot point be in one of the corners in the middle of the top and on and on okay I'm gonna leave it in the middle and then to the right under warp this is where we have our options okay and I'm gonna go through them visually so you can see what they look like I'm gonna zoom out first so you can see these warps actually happening and the first one we're gonna use is the arc as you can see arc pretty much gives you an arc and then to the right hand side and this applies to all the different warpings right here is we have the option to either do it horizontally like what we're doing right now or vertically so let's go back to horizontally then we have the bend the bend is how much of this arc warping are we generating if I go to 100 this is what I get but if I go down to let's say for example 27.6 this is what we will get the horizontal and the vertical has to do with how much are you gonna distort the horizontal arc warping so you can go in the positive or the negative numbers let's type in zero and then how much you're gonna do it in the vertical so this will create a perspective right here and let me set this to zero okay so let's get out of arc and let's go into arc lower I'm going to increase the bend so you can see the effect alright and again horizontal and vertically then I'm gonna go to arc upper notice that the same controls that we had for the regular arc are right here then we're gonna have the arch again arch horizontal arch vertical then we're gonna go to bulge we can control the intensity of the actual bulging then we have shell lower and shell upper then we have flag if I lower the bend this looks like a flag then we have wave it's similar to flag but the uh, bending does not happen on the edges the edges stay straight and this is what it looks like vertical then we go to fish apparently there was a huge need for fish but if you do it on the vertical direction and if you change the bend to instead of 39 to let's say negative 39 this is what you would get all right the beginning of a vase then we have rise let me set the bend to zero first of all and then increase the rise all right it looks like a flag on a vertical position right and then I'm gonna select fisheye now fisheye is very interesting right here okay if I go in the negative it almost creates a pinching so let me go to set this up to 50 and then we have inflate if I increase it to 85 this is what it looks like and then we have squeeze this is a squeeze in the horizontal and the vertical and then we have twist so the twist if you go in the positive it will be in one direction and if you go in the negative it will be in another direction so once you have the warp that you want with the amount that you want and either horizontal or vertical distortions then all you have to do is click on this check mark right here and you have validated your transform and these are the transform warp submenus. <laughs>